Sad nerd buddy, boy Big Brando and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Today we're talking all about pricing. Now as a fair warning, I know this video is going to be very long because I'm going to try to touch base on a lot of different things in this one video right here. From breaking down your material costs to figuring out pricing if you're operating as a print shop, contract printing, printing for others. If you're running your own brand, retail, clothing brand, whatever it is. And I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos that operate solely off of vinyl cutter and heat transfer vinyl because they do a lot of custom work. So like I said, I'm gonna try to touch on all of these key points and break a lot of stuff down. I apologize for the noise right now because we do have some construction going on next door. So if you hear drills and saws and stuff going off, I apologize right now. So let's jump right into it. First things first, let's talk about HTV, heat transfer vinyl. If you buy your vinyl like I do in the five yard roll, you'll know that it's a lot cheaper to go that route instead of buying it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of these other craft stores that'll sell you like 18 inches of vinyl for like $12 or $13 or whatever it is. In a pinch, that stuff is cool because you can just walk into Michaels and buy the stuff. But if you're using a lot of black, a lot of white. If there's certain colors that you're using a lot of, there are huge advantages to order vinyl somewhere else. So for the sake of this video and as an example, we're going to be talking about Econo Transfers Econo V. This is Econo Transfers standard heat transfer vinyl. I talked about it in the last video when we're talking about transfers. So we're going to be using them as an example when we're talking about pricing. Now when you're buying vinyl like that, it comes in a 20 inch roll by five yards. There's a price break when you buy five yards, 10 yards, and I think you could buy like the full roll. I forget how many yards it is, but it's coming off of a 20 inch roll by five yards. So this is heat transfer vinyl. We're talking Econo V, 20 inch roll by five yards. Retail price for this on their site as of today is $32. So like I said, 20 inch roll, five yards, $32. So if we do the breakdown and you buy this roll for $32, that means one yard comes out to 640, roughly 640 for a yard. If we break it down even more, there's three feet in a yard. So every foot, comes out to like 213, a little more, a little less. That's per foot. And remember, this is 20 inches by one foot. And then if you needed to break this down even smaller, because maybe you're doing smaller pieces, just break this down to figure out exactly how much you need to charge. But if you're just going based off of this, if you charge per foot, your material cost for this vinyl is only $2.13. So let's say you're doing front print with a back print, and you could get all of that on a one foot piece, your material cost just for the vinyl alone is gonna be $2.13. Easy call, right? So let's say that your blank t-shirt For the sake of this video, we'll say every blank t-shirt is gonna be about three bucks. Three dollars for the shirt, two dollars thirteen cents for the heat transfer vinyl. This does not include your labor. This is only material costs. It costs you $3 for that blank t-shirt. It costs you $2.13 for the vinyl that you pressed onto the t-shirt. So into this t-shirt material cost, you have $5, $5.13, $5.15, whatever it is. But that is your actual material cost for this heat transfer vinyl t-shirt. So if you're running a custom t-shirt business and you're like, I got to figure out how much material I'm going to be using. Maybe it's a two color job, double that. So if you're using, let's say black and red, that's the design. Right? So you're gonna use $2.13 of black, $2.13 of red, plus your $3 t-shirt. Now you're into this t-shirt for what? 213 plus 213 is $4.26, plus the $3. You're into that t-shirt for what? $7.25, $0.26? Your customer has to pay that because that's what your materials cost just to create that t-shirt. See what I mean? So when you buy your vinyl by the five yard roll, 
buying bigger will always be cheaper. It's gonna look like it costs more, but the price break per yard will be a lot cheaper. Cause I believe if you bought this same exact vinyl by the yard, I think it comes out to like eight something. But if you buy it in a five yard roll where the price break is, it comes down to 640. So it's a $2 difference per yard when you buy in a five yard roll. See what I mean? So when you're doing this, make sure you break everything down to the smallest increment. That way you can figure out your material cost. Maybe you're not even gonna use all one foot, 20 inches by 12 inches of this vinyl. So break it down in half. It'll come out to like what, dollar seven or something like that if you only use six inches by 20. So as long as you could break your vinyl down like this and do some basic math, I'm not the sharpest, but doing this basic math is very, very easy of breaking stuff down. You'll be good to go when it comes to heat transfer vinyl figuring out pricing for your material costs. Once again, this is not including labor. This is only for your materials. $3 t-shirt, $2, 13 cents for the vinyl. Only your material costs. So like I said, this is gonna be good for a lot of people that are just running custom t-shirt businesses, trying to figure out how much they should charge. When you look at your competition and your competition's charging $25, $30 for that custom t-shirt, and you know that they're using a $3 blank t-shirt and they're only using $2 worth of vinyl, you can see what their profit is actually gonna be. This is how you can figure out what your profit should be. How long does it take you to cut out that vinyl? How long does it take you to design it? How long does it take you to press that stuff in? It's gonna be based on you and your own labor. That's something that I can't tell you what it's worth. I don't know what your labor's worth. I say this in all my videos. You might just be coming to this video looking for an easy answer, but if I gave you an easy answer and I value your labor at something that I have no idea about what you're doing and you're going based off of that, you're shooting yourself in the foot because I don't know what your labor's worth. Only you know what your labor is valued at. So figuring out your own labor should be based on how long it takes you to do something, how long it takes you to design the design, how long it takes you to cut it out, weed it out, press it onto the t-shirt. Are you going back and forth with your customer over the design? Are you going back and forth with your customer, just consulting them on what they want to get into? All of that stuff adds up after a while because you're spending your time dealing with this customer working on this one certain job. So do not let anybody on YouTube tell you what your labor's worth because nobody on YouTube knows you personally. So if somebody's telling you you should be charging this for your labor, you're basically working for them because now they're valuing your time at a certain dollar amount and they don't even know you. So going based off of, let me see what Big Brando charges, let me see what this person charges for their labor is not gonna benefit you. And it doesn't benefit you because my labor and your labor is gonna be valued different. I know how much money I could be making doing something else. You should know how much money you could be making doing something else. Use your day job as a starting point. If your employer says your labor is worth $20 an hour, $20 an hour is what your employer values your time at. So if you're making anything under $20 an hour, you're gonna be valuing yourself a lot lower than what your day job charges you. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying you think that your labor is worth $500 an hour because that's unrealistic when you're talking about just custom t-shirts. But factor in how much money you could be making if you weren't making those t-shirts. You see what I mean? Now you know what your time is actually valued at. If your day job said, hey, you know what? You're only worth $7 an hour. Are you gonna work that day job? No, you're gonna be like, no, my time is worth a lot more than that. I'm not gonna take no $7 an hour. That's how you should be treating your own business. Same exact way. Do not let somebody on YouTube value your labor if they don't know you personally. You know what I mean? That's something you have to figure out. So once again, this right here has nothing to do with labor. This is just material costs. And there's also gonna be things like packaging, boxes, shipping labels, poly mailers, all that stuff, factor in how much all that stuff costs. That's all it is. What you paid for that stuff is what you charge the customer, all right? Use the same exact method. If you spent X amount of dollars on a dozen boxes and you're only using one of those dozen, what does each box cost per piece? Charge that to your customer. All right, that was heat transfer vinyl. Now let's talk about Plastisol transfers. For the sake of this video, we're gonna be using Transfer Express as the example. Plastisol transfers. Like I said, we're gonna be using Transfer Express. We're gonna use their gang sheets. So I think it's 11 by 14 is their actual gang sheet. So here's the gang sheet. So I order transfers by the hundreds. There's a big price break when it comes to 100. So if you're ordering by the hundreds, it comes out to like $1.80 per piece, right? So we'll say 100 of them. So at 100 sheets, it comes out to $1.80 per sheet. You know what, for the sake of the video, I'll make the math a lot easier on myself. We'll say $2. Single color. 
and we're using hot split. Now, first things first, people ask, why do you like hot split? Why don't you use goof proof? For myself, I like the feel of hot split. There's no adhesive residue around the hot split transfer. There's a lot of other transfer companies out there. If you wanted to Google Plastisol transfers, look up any of these companies, hit them up for samples and test them out, be my guest. We're talking about Transfer Express hot split. If you wanna use goof proof, use goof proof. I'm talking about hot split. The only reason I like hot split over goof proof is the feel of it. That's all it is. I like the feel of the hot split transfer over the goof proof. I have videos on my channel showing, comparing the two, wash tests, all that stuff. I prefer hot split, so that's what we're using, all right? Hot split, single color. Transfer sheet is 11 by 14. Doesn't matter how many designs you could fit into this 11 by 14, you pay $2 a transfer. Like I said, it's a little bit cheaper than that. I think it's like $1.80, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna be saying $2. So you're gonna buy a hundred of them at two dollars a piece. Two hundred bucks, and you're probably thinking two hundred dollars—that's a shitload of money. But let's say you did one big back design right here. So this is one big back design, and then let's say you did another design over here that's gonna go on the front. So now you have two designs, and then let's say you did another design here and then let's say this one right here is going to be a left chest print so you have four designs on this one sheet those four designs right there still only cost two dollars a print see what i mean so you have this big 11 by 14 right so this is 11 by 14. here's a big back print here's a front print here's a left chest print and then here's another design i don't know there's four designs on here so when you break down the, these four designs right here, it comes out to 50 cents a piece. So now you have you have 100 of this one. You got 100 of this one. You got 100 of this one and 100 of this one. So now you have 100, 100, 100, 100. And you're only paying 50 cents per. That's all it breaks down to because this whole page right here costs two bucks. So there's two dollars, 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents. See what I mean? So that breaks down to this piece right here costs 50 cents. This piece right here costs 50 cents. This piece 50, this piece 50. You have a hundred of each of those because remember you're only paying per sheet. That's all it is. You're paying per sheet. You're not paying per design. So the benefit in using plastic salt transfers just like this, Transfer Express transfers, 11 by 14 gang sheet, doesn't matter how many designs you put on this one sheet, you're only gonna pay per sheet. So remember the price break is above 50, above 100. When you're buying 100 of them, it comes out to $1.80 or something like that per sheet. So it's 180 bucks. But like I said, for the sake of the video, we're gonna say $2, $200 for 100 of these, 100 of these, 100 of these, 100 of these, which breaks down to 50 cents per design. So when you're doing your pricing, $3 t-shirt, 50 cents for the print. But you did a back print and a front left chest print. So that's a dollar, $3 plus 50 cents plus 50 cents. That's $4. You're into this t-shirt for four bucks. This right here is perfect if you're running your own clothing brand or if you're printing for others, doing contract printing because here's the transfer sheet again, right? So let's say that you're printing 200 t-shirts for, I don't know, let's say a car club, right? They got 200 members or they wanna order 200 t-shirts. Here's your 11 by 14. Let's say they do a back print with the car club name. You could gang up two back prints on here and then they want the front left chest print, boom. Here's the front left chest print for this one. Here's the back print, car club name. Here's the front left chest print, car club name. Same exact design on the other side. You still have a little bit of room in here. You could put whatever else you wanted in here. Doesn't matter. You don't have to, but you can. If you needed 200 of these and you're printing for somebody else, all you gotta do is order 100 sheets because you have this design and this design, and then you have this design and this design. Right? So on here, you can knock out 200 t-shirts off of this one design right here. You still pay the same exact price, right? $2 a piece. This is still gonna be 50 cents and 50 cents. That's a dollar on a $3 t-shirt. 
you have everything you need to knock out this whole design as a contract printer right on this one sheet. Using gang sheets increases your margins. Your profit is gonna be way crazier because you're only paying $2 for 100 sheets. You have 200 bucks, right? $3 a t-shirt and you need 200 of them, right? So you have 200 times three, 600 bucks. This, this is blank t-shirts, this is transfers. You're into this whole job for 800 bucks. That's material costs to complete that job. It only costs you the breakdown per shirt. $3 plus a dollar, $4. So that is 50 cents for the front, 50 cents for the back, plus a $3 t-shirt. So depending how long it's gonna take you to do that, you factor into your labor. But you're into these t-shirts for four bucks, $4. You're into these t-shirts. So what do you charge the customer, right? What are you charging this car club to do all of these t-shirts right here? Well, the customer doesn't need to know that you use this gang sheet, or you could even say it's gonna cost $2 for the front, $3 for the back, right? So if we break that down, right? This is what you're telling the customer. This is gonna cost you two for the front, three for the back, plus four for the blank, right? You're talking $9 a shirt, right? $2 for the front print, $3 for the back, and then you're charging them $4 for the blank shirt. $9 per times 200, so you got nine bucks, times 200. This job comes out to $1,800. Your profit Is a thousand bucks for this job right here. Cost you eight hundred dollars in materials. Thousand dollars right here. And I'm not saying you got to charge them whatever two dollars and three dollars, whatever it is. You figure out your own labor. But this is what you possibly could make. Because remember, using these gang sheets, this is a shitload of scribble on here. But using gang sheets like this, and you break down your print cost to fifty cents per, increases your margins like crazy. Because there's not a lot of print shops that can compete with fifty cents for the front, fifty cents for the back. That's your cost. So you tack on your labor on top of that, and this is just a ballpark figure, but potentially make $1,000 just off of this one job for printing 200 t-shirts. Easy call, right? Hopefully all of this makes sense. This is operating like an actual print shop. This right here is operating like if you're running your own brand. So when you're running your own brand, you're only into the shirt, like I said, for $4, $3 for the blank, 50 cents for the front print, 50 cents for the back print. You're into the same t-shirt for four bucks. Retail cost, let's say you charge $20. That's $16 profit on your retail. And you could sell it for more, you could sell it for less. Anything over tripling your money. If it only costs you $4 and you triple your money, that's $12. So if you sold your retail shirt for 12 bucks, or if you wholesale it to a retail shop, say you wanna get into a retail store, you wholesale it to them for the $12, you're still tripling your money, you know what I mean? So on top of all of this right here, if this doesn't make sense to you by using gang sheets for operating like contract printer or running your own clothing brand, this should make a lot of sense to you when the numbers are actually broken down because into the whole shirt, $3 for the blank, dollar for the print, you're into the shirt for four bucks, you have a lot of wiggle room right there to play with your margins to see how much you want to charge, what makes sense to you, what you feel comfortable charging. See what I mean? So operating off of Plastisol transfers is how my whole business is built. And it's based around a heat press and Plastisol transfers. It makes so much sense to operate this way because, hey, look at this shit. There's so much money to be made right here. I hope this makes sense to people out there. I hope this number breakdown right here sets off some sort of little bell in your head and like, oh shit, I could be making so much money operating this way and doing things this way outside of sending it out to an actual print shop, outside of getting something screen printed. And there's nothing wrong with screen printing. But I'm saying if you're operating from home and you don't have the space to screen print, operating this way, there's a lot of money to be made. You know what I mean? So like I said, if you're running a custom t-shirt business and you're using mainly heat transfer vinyl and your vinyl cutter, break down your material costs. Breaking it down by the inch, by the foot, whatever you have to do to figure out how much vinyl you're actually using for these certain jobs is crucial. Knowing your material costs and making sure the customer gets charged for all the material used in creating the shirt, very crucial when it comes to pricing. Now, same exact thing goes for 
operating as a print shop, doing, running your own clothing brand. When you use game sheets like Transfer Express, you have so much room for profit. You have so much room to make extra money. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that use Supercolor. You guys see me use Supercolor. When you're talking about Supercolor, they don't do game sheets. So you're paying per print per design. So if the left chest print is four by four and the back print is like eight by 11 or something like that, you pay per sheet you charge your customer per sheet. So remember, if that front left chest print costs, I don't know, $2 per, you charge that customer $2 for that. If the back print costs $4 per, you charge the customer $4. But these are multicolor designs. Multicolor means more colors in that design, the more the price is gonna go up. It's like that for screen printing, it's like that for anything. So the more colors in your design, the more it's gonna be. So remember, when you're pricing stuff out, you have to charge the customer for the material costs. Breaking down super color pricing is way easier because you're paying per piece. So whatever you pay per piece is what you charge your customer. When you're doing gang sheets and you're talking about five yards of vinyl, there's a little bit more math involved because you gotta break down how much you're using and how much everything is and where the price breaks are and all of that. So that's why we broke it down on the whiteboard. Super color, a little bit easier because you pay per piece. You charge a customer exactly what you're paying for that, all right? And when it comes to figuring out your labor, I touched on this a little bit already, but figuring out your labor is crucial. That's the other piece of pricing that I personally cannot help you with because I don't know what your labor is worth. And a lot of times people just want an easy answer. They want somebody to just say, just tell me exactly how much I should charge for this. And it's like, man, if I told you to charge $10 for that, you're gonna go based off of what I'm saying and I'm telling you that your time is only worth $10 for that t-shirt? What if it takes you fucking like five hours to do that shirt? And you're probably thinking, that's crazy. Nothing takes you five hours. When you sit down and design something and go back and forth with a customer, that time adds up. So if I told you $10 and it's taking you five hours to do something, I'm valuing you at $2 an hour. Now, if your day job said, hey, you know what? I'm only gonna pay you $2 an hour. You gonna stick around at that job? No, you're like, you're fucking crazy. My time's worth way more than that, right? Same exact thing should happen for your own business. Don't let somebody on YouTube or on Instagram or TikTok tell you what your labor's worth. That to me is fucking crazy. So when you're figuring out your labor, you need to know exactly how much you could be making outside of making t-shirts so you could put some sort of value on your time. Because if I wasn't making t-shirts, I know how much I could be making doing graphic design for somebody. I turn away a lot of graphic design work because I don't have time to do it. But if I wasn't making t-shirts, then I could be doing that and I know how much money I could be making over there. See what I mean? So that's how I value my time, is how much money I could be making elsewhere doing something else, like money in the hand, how much money I could be making. I know what my time is worth based on that. So if I'm not gonna get that same amount of money taken on this job, and I'm not gonna recoup the money I'm leaving on the table over here, then I'm not gonna take that job on because my time is valued at a certain amount. You see what I'm saying? So like I said, if you were to use your day job and see what your employer values your time at, like I said, if it's $20 an hour, $15 an hour, something like that, that's what your employer is valuing your time when it comes to a dollar amount. They're saying your time hourly is worth $20 an hour. So now you have some sort of value over your head on what your time is worth. Because if you weren't making t-shirts, you'd be making $20 an hour at your day job. See what I mean? If you want to sell yourself short and say, hey, my time's only worth $5 because you want to get this client to print shirts for, be my guest. You can always undersell yourself. That's on you. But for myself, I would never advise somebody to do that. And I would never recommend somebody doing that because fuck, man, why would you devalue your own self just to get the job? And then now you tell this customer, hey, you know what? I'll do that shirt for you. It'll only cost you 10 bucks. Doesn't matter how long it takes you, but your price is now $10 every single time that customer comes back to you. And the moment you say, hey, you know what? Prices went up $20. They're gonna be like, hey, what happened to that $10 deal? Now you're locking yourself in at this certain price. It's happened to a lot of people, it happens to a shitload of people actually, because they're hungry at the beginning. They just wanna get their foot in the door. They wanna start making some money, but not understanding how much time they're spending doing this stuff, create t-shirts, designing and all that, just to get the job, they're devaluing themselves and now their price is set at that when they talk to that customer. Now when that customer talks to their friends and they're like, hey man, get your shirts done by this guy. He only charges 10 bucks. Now you got a lot of work coming in, but you're at a very, very low value. See what I mean? But at the same time, you're not gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna charge you $300 for that shirt because that's what my time is worth. Everybody wants their time to be worth something really crazy. But also is somebody gonna spend $300 on a t-shirt printed with HTV? 
on a regular ass all style t-shirt no you know what i mean so one important thing that i can leave you with to close this video out because it is very long is when you're figuring out your labor figuring out your pricing best thing you could do is figure out your workflow first how long it takes you to cut something out how long it takes you to weed how long it takes you to design. Figuring out your workflow and that whole process, being efficient with your time, will help you out. Because when you're first starting out, you're very wary on how to lay the transfer down, how to cut it out. So you're taking your time, you're going slow, you're making sure you're hitting all the right steps, and that's cool. But once you get into the flow of things, figuring out that process and being efficient with your time, like I could run the cutter while I'm doing this, or I could start pressing this and start doing this or I could cut everything out all at once and then sit there and weed everything out really quick. All of those little things right there add up in time. So then that way you have a better idea on how long it's gonna take you to do something and then that's how you start to value your time and start putting a price on your time. It's only gonna take me 15 minutes to make that t-shirt. So I could charge the customer $20. It takes you 15 minutes to do that. So if you did four t-shirts, you're valuing your time at $20 per 15 minutes. Now every hour, it's 80 bucks. See what I mean? So like, man, I could do four t-shirts in an hour. Easy call. Boom. $20 per t-shirt. Now I'm getting $80 an hour. Not a bad deal. So figuring out your workflow and your process, that's crucial when it comes to figuring out your labor. All right. And remember, don't let nobody like myself on YouTube tell you what your time is worth, what your labor is worth. We don't know your sacrifices. We don't know how much money you could be making outside of this. So don't let somebody place some weird ass value on your time because at the end of the day, it's your time, not ours, all right? It's a long ass video. Hopefully I touched on everything that you guys wanted to see. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you wanna go back and watch any of these, I made a Back to Basics playlist and all of them are going into that playlist. If you wanted to go back into it as a refresher, I know it's hard to dig through all the videos. Hopefully this helps you guys out, all right? Got any questions, leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man, yeah.